In this video, I'm going to talk you through how you can use the ADA formula for writing sales letters. Now, ADA stands for attention, interest, desire, and action. Now, let's look at each of these steps individually. Okay, let's talk about getting the reader's attention. What you need to do is you need to grab the reader's attention and you want to make it impossible for them to not continue reading the letter. And there are two parts to this, two steps that you need to take. You need a hard-hitting headline that arouses the reader's curiosity and you need a lead paragraph that gets straight to the point. So what you want to do is you want to brainstorm headline ideas. You know, write down as many as possible. You know, don't worry about whether they're any good or not. At the moment, your emphasis is going to be on quantity rather than quality. So just write down the first thing that comes into your head that you think might be good as a headline. And then you want to narrow the list down to three or four. And then use the most promising one, but keep the rest in reserve for testing purposes. Now, when it comes to your lead paragraph, you want to ask the sort of questions that your reader is asking himself or herself. So you want to get inside their mind almost and you want to think, well, what are they asking themselves? What sort of questions are they asking themselves? And you want to restate that in your lead paragraph so that when they come to your site and they read your lead paragraph, they're going to think, hey, you know, this guy or this girl, well, they know exactly what it is that I'm talking about. So that's what you want to do with your lead paragraph, to sort of draw them in. But you don't want to provide them with the answers just yet. Now the next step is interest, and there is sometimes some confusion when it comes to interest. Bear in mind, your reader isn't interested in what your product or service can do. They're interested in what your product or service can do for them. The reader wants to know, what's in it for me? So you've got their attention, you've shown that you are thinking along their lines, now you want to get them interested in what your product or service can do for them, what's in it for the customer. And this leads naturally into forming the desire for the product. Once they have an idea as to what's in it for them, then they're going to start to desire your product or your service. Now, there are several types of desires that you can stimulate in your copy. You can stimulate the desire that they're going to have to eliminate or minimize a future loss or to gain something. And what you should do is to provide a compelling reason why the customer should buy from you rather than buy from anybody else. And this is known as your unique selling point which is often referred to as a USP. So you want to stress the benefits to the customer. Bear in mind, as we were saying earlier, the customer's not interested in what your product or service can do. They're interested in what your product or service can do for them. So you want to stress the benefits rather than the features. And you want to be specific about what the benefits are going to be to the customer, what they are going to get from purchasing your product or service. And you want to give clear expected results. You don't want to give generalities. So you want to tell them exactly what they are going to get once they have bought your product. Do not underestimate the importance of this step. Your success with this sales letter will stand or fall depending on what you do in this section. This is the most important section of the entire sales letter. Now we come to action and of course the action that you want is you want to ask for the sale. Actually I'll take that back. What you want to do is you want to tell the customer to go ahead and buy now. And you need to instruct them on exactly what they're going to need to do to get hold of your product. Then you want to summarize the benefits and you want to ask for the sale again because very few people will actually click the button first time round. So you want to uh, instruct them how they're going to make the purchase. They'll read a bit further down. You summarize the benefits. Then you ask for the sale again. And most often times you'll find that it's the second button that people click on. 
You also want to create scarcity to encourage reluctant purchasers to make up their minds. You know, some people might think, well, yes, I'm not sure I really need this or not. But if there's a limited quantity or the price is going to go up, then that is going to encourage them to make a decision. And you want to have a guarantee to minimize the risk to the customer. So they know that if it turns out to be not what they want, they can simply get onto you and get a refund and get their money back. And you want to make the buying process as simple and hassle-free as possible for the customer. Another thing that you might want to do is to use the PS of the sales letter to restate the most important benefit or to emphasize your guarantee and then you want to give the customer another opportunity to purchase. So there you go, that's how you can use the ADA formula for writing sales letters.